Okay, so I'm gonna check for audio a bit. So if you're watching this on the YouTube export, I'm sorry. I just, I gotta do this. Sometimes the audio is a little weird. Because uh, of the new setup and whatnot. So I just wanna make sure everything is in order. Okay, so if I could get a handle on the live stream, that would be great. <sighs> Come on, you can load. You can dance. You. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Hello. Function, please. Ha ha ha! <sighs> he he! Ah uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. See, I got plates back. <sighs> okay, so audio is fine. Just wanted to make sure before we hop in. Um, the camera's all set up, so we should be good to go. I'm just gonna quickly inform some people. Just, you know. Cause I, that's what I do. Just in case any of my very small group of people wants to witness the end of the game. hop in and finish the game. I'm excited. So, time to finish off this game. It's gonna it's gonna be wild. I don't know much about the ending. I know, I think there's three endings, though. And I've heard names that I'm pretty sure are the endings. Uh, Parting Ways, Redemption, and Pacifist. I have no idea what either of those three things will entail. So, I'm kind of coming into this a bit blind. Because with the first game, I already knew about the big final dilemma. And with the prequel, it's a prequel. So, I already knew that, like, Rachel dies and Chloe gets more self-destructive. So, I already knew those things coming into the first game and the prequel. I don't know. I didn't even know much coming into this game, except there's a guy named Finn. There's a lady named Cassidy. Main character is Sean. He's a little brother. Little brother. Might be special. That was kind of my extent of the knowledge of this game. Oh, and wolf imagery. I knew there was a lot of wolf imagery coming into this, but I didn't really know anything more. Um, and I had only seen, like, one or two clips. So, I'm coming into this pretty blind. And I, you know, I was smart and I downloaded the episode last night. Tell me how this game takes up as much space as The Last of Us 2. Makes no sense. Where is that space going? How come it takes up twice as much space as the Detroit Become Human? doesn't make sense um but i'm glad i downloaded it last night uh because it took forever why? and i want to play it why you know there were two wolf brothers living in their yeah home there were the they lived in peace peace two hunters took their dad away two hunters took their dad away 
Both brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's Riveting. When the big brother discovered that the little one, little one was not an ordinary, not ordinary wolf, but a super, a super wolf. wolf. Okay. They decided to head south to the distant, distant land, land of their ancestors. ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Yeah. Sure was. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new, made new friends, friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always, always follow them. them. After a bad accident, they were separated. The big brother had been hurt. Well, you're not going to mention Finn. Finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. Yeah, and he even saw Finn on the way out, and it was really gay and really sad. Oh, that's how they're representing him. Oh god, yeah, Karen. That's a good representation of Karen. Like, it looks like Karen while still looking like a wolf. But she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So the little brother got so angry, he killed him. The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Damn. Okay. Let's get into the final episode. So seven weeks later and we're in Arizona now, is that what's happening? Oh hell no. That's a spooky little fella. I don't like how it came towards the camera and then just like disappeared. I don't like that. Mm. Are they just sleeping out in the sand? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Winger scorpions? Yeah, hell no. Screw that. <laughs> Lol. No. I'll pass. Hey. Thanks. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. Oh, what? his hair's longer now. What time is it? Is his hair longer now? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. Oh, is this a dream? Maybe. Cause Daniel's hair is also longer. Or not longer, shorter, right? I I'm confused. Is this a dream or not? Where's Karen? So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. It's fine. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Anna. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wholesome. I love Is you. this a dream or not? I legitimately I cannot happens. tell. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. People ship him, and that makes me so angry. Um, like, hey, that, there's a word for a guy, and it's incest, and it's illegal. Um, and also, uh, Daniel's nine years old, and Sean is practically an adult. So that's just so many layers of yikes. And I don't get it. 
I don't get it. <laughs> Diaz Brothers. Diaz Always. Brothers. Always. Is this a dream or not? Where's Karen? I'm so confused. So... Are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No. I guess... I don't feel that bad about what I did. Maybe... That's bad. Neither do I. Not in this case. It was her or us. You did what you had to do, and I don't... I know. She was so nice at first. I can't believe she turned me against you. I'm sorry, Sean. <laughs> no way. We're the Wolf Bros. Nobody can tear us apart. The Wolf Bros. Nobody. We stand. Right? Sean. Are we criminals now? Yes. <laughs> sort of. We did a lot of... Right. Question bullshit. Uh, yeah. If the cops catch us, it won't we'll be, be judged good. For what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well. Well, Daniel's got superpowers. Finally. Where's Karen? I'm like here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to the mom. The Wolf Brothers. Oh, is this tiger gonna catch us up? So, so it's not a dream. Good. I'm guessing Karen left Yo, off God. along the way. Because if it was a dream, the dad would be here, right? I'm very confused. Because, like, it feels dreamlike, but also it... Logically, it would make more sense for it to not be a she dream. She to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while. At some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied. The evil Chupacabra, and they would have to fight together. Uh, um, excuse me, <laughs> who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too, right? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh... Okay. So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. Whoever voices okay. Daniel sounds a tiny bit older now, and I think hey, that's cool. King I'm assuming it's a little kid. <laughs> you win. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. So good not in a dream. They're just like cool. hanging out here. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> oh, man. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Boyfriend. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Pretty useless with a crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Oh, coyotes. It scares good coyotes away would be a cool line for a wolf story, just yeah. saying. I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of mom too much. 
Oh. Yeah. Right. Yikes. <laughs> we love bullying him. I'm glad you can still draw after you know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Even if you're half blind and have no depth oh, perception. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Oh, magically he has some depth perception left. Kind of. Magically. Also, are we going to point out the fact that he drove a vehicle all over the place with no issue? Even though he's half-blind and has no depth perception? I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the can. Hmm. I can try. Hey, it decided to pop it's in anyways. Hello, I hope you are Let me check it doing out. Oh, decently. Yeah. Now that's a badass superhero you don't want to mess with. So, you were last here... with a gay shit. So, uh... So... Gru's got big explosion, and then Sean had an eye injury, he ended up in a hospital, uh, but he was going to be sent to prison if he stayed here another day, so he escaped. On the way out, he saw his boyfriend, Finn, it was really gay and really depressing, uh, and then he found his mom, Karen, uh, and then they found Daniel had, because Daniel was missing, had joined a cult. A religious cult. He had been indoctrinated into a religious cult. So, they saved him from that. Um, with some difficulty, they burned down the church and killed the cult leader. Um, and now they're out in Arizona. Daniel, okay. That's lovely. Yeah, we love joining a religious cult. <sighs> Yo, Captain Cam, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. <laughs> Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. You're right, he is no fun. Activate flashlight. And no funny business. Of course not. On the way. Wheel up, Daniel. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. It's really a stark contrast uh, between his powers and Max's powers. That he can do all this stuff without it ever taking a toll on him, but like she just rewinds time a bit too much and all of a sudden her nose is bleeding, she's having a headache, she's passing out and having stress dreams. Supposed to be eating, but I feel like I'll get sick if I do so. I'll probably stick around for about 20 minutes before I run off. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Take care of yourself. What are you doing? Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. <laughs> What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. What's the big deal? Look. Seriously? What did you do that for? Whatever. That thing could sting us to death. So what? You just 
torture it? What the hell was that? Hey, hey, I won't do it again. If it matters to you. Let's just head out now. That's really concerning. God. That is very concerning. I wish we saw my falling stars. Or any. <laughs> Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. Ooh, hey, can I boss. jump off the cliff? That was so cool. Oh. Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Who are Arthur and Stanley? Yeah. These guys are real cool. Weed? Weed? Weed, you say? Amazing that anything can grow out right here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well... Oh. Uh... Good question. Okay, I assume yes, just very rarely. Also, I've heard it gets like freakishly cold at night. Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power up here. Not hide it. <laughs> yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. No. Oh. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Um maybe she just doesn't care. It looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. Maybe she So all right. Help us get out of here. Maybe, perhaps, mayhaps. Step back. Be super careful. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Whoa! Boom. Easy peasy. <laughs> He's kind of horrifying in the sense that, like, he could really wreck our shit and not be affected by it. Um, also, that scorpion thing was freaky as hell. Running wolves. Okay, continuing on. Let's go. Oh, this is a nifty little town with some sexy, sexy cacti. I wonder if I'm gonna get copyrighted hey, for this one. Go <laughs> Joanne. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Who are Stanley and Arthur? My brother's name is Arthur. Fun fact. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. What? I'm confused. What? Who is back soon? Is that Karen? Because if so, I like Danny, that he copy? wasn't bothered by it. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Because last time that she left a note, I'm assuming that's from Karen. That said back soon. He was like, Ugh, if she ever does. Which, understandable. Uh, but now he's just like, okay. Yes, wholesome. We love character growth. 10-4. No fine pancakes today. Guess not. What? Okay. Stand no stuff. Okay, let's go inside.
What's the USB key? What? I guess we'll figure out what that's about. What's this? <laughs> Karen, Karen doesn't even like, like to leave, leave this place, place just to go shopping. Oh, I guess Karen. Okay, so yeah, cute emotional character growth. Look at them sexy, sexy cacti. I'm referencing a ch uh, che Cheekology, I think that's her name. Tweet, by the way, if you're very concerned. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. Did you enjoy your pancake, Sean? What's this? Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hard Who's times. Maggie? Who's Maggie? Is that her sister? I totally forgot about that key. Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Wholesome. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Literally. I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. God. Prote is so good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it. We love him. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. Yikes. <sighs> what is this? Why? I changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. Fair enough. I mean, she did abandon you for however many years. And then only showed up when your Gotta little brother got indoctrinated into a cult. Why do you call it that? No. I don't need it as much. Why you call it that? God. I lube. I'm horrified. Had no clue there was a Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Must pay better than poetry. God. Whoa. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Whoa. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Okay, so the bottom and top button do the exact right same ago. thing. Oh, Finn has a letter? What? I miss his ass too. Hi, he sweetie. Wasn't such a fuck up, he could take over the world. This is so wholesome and so gay and so sad. They're so gay and so wholesome. I love them. That's adorable and really sad. Oh, Jacob also sent a letter. His other boyfriend. So Jacob and his sister are doing okay. God, Jacob's handwriting. They deserve some peace. God. Oh, so his sister's better now. That's sweet. So, so cute. cute. 
<laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition. Now. <laughs> we all know that Daniel was in love with Chris. Just saying. But, yes, wholesome. Wholesome small children. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Water boy. Water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I can grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Wholesome. What is this? We could also try to be self sufficient when we're in Mexico. Yeah, you just said that. Oh, is that a little souvenir? Oh, I, I even got a little achievement for it. Yippee. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood deck. Yeah, I bet everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't get food coloring out here. Will you be a buzzkill, Daniel? <laughs> This better not be a Arthur and Stanley probably won't fucking David me. I'm thinking of what I swear to God This better not be What the hell David always wants to help But he's tough to figure out That better not be Chloe's fucking stepfather I will commit. <laughs> I will Warning commit crimes if it is. Warning, guys. We're gay. gay. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Morning, Sean. Okay, gay. Just in time for our special desert brew, and thus free. Are gay? gay. So much, Sean. It's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Are they gay? Unlike us, darling. They're gay. I knew it. I immediately got a vibe. I'm like, there's no way you're just like hanging out. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope Yikes. you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know... Well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. Okay. So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in the desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place I love is them. Else. And we feel safe out here. You could have seen me as a family man a few years ago. I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. That's so wholesome and so gay, and I love Next them so much. One. Why is good coffee steam purple? After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. The, the Arcadia Bay Area, Bay area perhaps? Hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own way. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Is Graham? Fan? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> we love them. Uh -huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. 
I'm gonna see what they We is. love good grumpy old gay couple. I love Thanks them. The desert, They're adorable. I love them. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. Just an old whiny old whiny couple. I love them. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. God. <laughs> he just called Brody a bear, and I don't know how to feel about that. You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. You know what? I saw them teaching the other day. Kind of weird. Oh, really? Was it weird that I kissed Finn at the farm? <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't lie to you about it. Yeah, it's super cool. I just wish you would have told me you were in there. You don't have to know everything. Hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We'll make you wild sculptures. <laughs> Will do. I'll be over in a minute. Who is David? That's still weirding me out because the only person in these games named David that I'm aware of, like, there is a person named David that I'm aware of, which is what's freaking me out. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? God. Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Is he here, I'm guessing? What? <laughs> God. Why is he so loud? Hello? <laughs> Where is he? Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. Okay, so I'm here. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. Kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. Um. Okay, where? Oh, there, there they are. See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That we love them. Something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. <laughs> wow. I'm dead serious. Talent. Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. Sean is a dumbass, to be fair. Okay to not know stuff. Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about- She's giving me Uncanny Valley. It's freaking me out. None of the characters in this game have done that so far, except for her. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Until I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's pretty it's not out. Always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, can work it. Do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input. Okay? Okay. Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. She's giving me Uncanny no. Valley. Go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next week... 
I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Do what? So I gotta connect three pieces. Okay, so um this one now let's, let's throw, throw on that, that spider. Maybe you should keep the same bottom. Don't you think Daniel? You know every artist sees and does things differently. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layout. Oh god, please let us work. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Clever. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Sweet! Daniel's getting really good with his powers and it's freaking me out. You're too far from the original. We shut up. Hmm. Let's cut the pancake head for now. I wasn't paying attention to what I was having to do. Um, I didn't realize I had to recreate that thing. Okay. Alright, now I know what to do. <clears throat> okay. Careful, Daniel. Earth out. Don't want, want you to get, get her? Hey, nope, 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 no, nope, nope. uh, let's take that spider off the pedestal. You got it. This is a very weird thing that I'm doing right now, and I kind of hate it. Don't break the earth, just put it there softly. There he goes! Because these little cutscenes are taking forever, and it's driving me insane. Oh, you should totally do it in the model. No. Summon the Spider Queen. Watch this. Activate Pancake Head. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Anna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. So can I go now? I bet you would like my It's kind of Not him bringing up Minecraft again. Oh, chicken. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. I'm still really concerned about David's trailer. Because if it's who I think it is, I'm going to have a stroke. David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. 
What hurts is it makes so much sense. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Well, we don't even know what we're looking for. Deal. I guess. I hope the UFOs are listening. There's as many wings that cannot fly. Shut up. That thing, maybe? Getting closer. Love the energy out here. With Can everyone I... building stuff as they please. Not too far. You're lost, Sean. <laughs> this place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Literally. I'm so confused. Okay, Joanne. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Daniel thinks I'm a pirate now? <laughs> exactly. And he'll make me walk the plank if I help you. Sorry, Skipper. Well, that's not very helpful. You're lost, Sean. This has many wings but cannot fly. He has to mean the the uh, bird sculpture, right? Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in with no cars. That's the worst poem ever, but go off. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Weird. But go off. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. You're in the middle zone. What the hell does that mean? Is it a birdhouse? Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. I'm so confused. Shitty pirate, and I'm so done with this quest. Ah, uh, don't give up now. Oh, my God. Hey, I'll just give you another hint. The first item is under the windmill. What? All right, mm, okay. I'll keep on hunting. You can 
Oh, many wings but cannot fly. Okay, that makes sense. I'm stupid. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Got it. Now, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh huh. Sure. Getting warm? Eats the sun. Is it a cactus? Or. Dude, you're a snowman. Okay, so. It eats the sun? I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. That would be nice. He could occupy himself. Eats the sun. Not Whoa, far. Jesus Christ. Eats the sun. I miss those bus trips with Lila and the guys. And the boys. What's the story with this one? The boys. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. What eats the sun? Eats the sun. Shut up. I'm gonna kill him. Shut up. Oh my god, shut up. Is it the crops? What eats the sun? Solar panels? That would make a lot of sense. Yep. There it is. Okay. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Oh, holy lady. I think I have the whole treasure map. I'm Captain. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool way. Okay, so where is okay? Um, it's a windmill. That's map you drew, dude. Think. Chris told you everything about treasure hunt. Huh. Kinda gay. Okay, shut up, Daniel. Okay, so that's the house. So then it's like Oh, it's scary. There we go. Okay. God, shut up, Daniel. <laughs> Ooh. Please. Looks like something's buried here. Sean became less of a prick by the time of this episode, which you know, I'm yes. glad. He's still I kind of a I prick, but less so. <laughs> yeah. I knew you I'm not a prospector, but. It looks like the real deal. You know what time it is. Victory! Death No. Come what on, is he doing? <laughs> yeah. He looks ridiculous. You asked for it. 
That was ridiculous. Okay. What? Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Why can't I go over there? What? Confused. Watch, Watch out. out. I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. Who's that? Who the hell is that? Who is that? Karen did hook us up here. Oh god, please don't. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Hey, what's, hey, up? what's up? Hey. Oh god, please. Oh no. Oh no, I was right. Oh god. Oh no. I Hi, hate Sean. him so much. How was the town trip? <sighs> hate these trips. You well, hate everything. For aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What kind of fruity? Buying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. That was real fruity. Hey. So, how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I mean, you'd like it. Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was Wholesome. Town? town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Oh, I hate that David's here, and I hate that he is just, like, chilling. Like, no one seems to have a problem with it, and I hate that. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid and play. Oh yeah, because you're so understanding yeah, of that. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Oh, oh shut Daniel up. Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah, been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. Oh, right? he sure does. He does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys Shut up. have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's <sighs> skills. Me neither, but I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous. Shut God. up. He's a walking weapon. God, never he's still the worst. Superpower before. I try. It's ironic because he literally he has. Not always easy, but he listens to me. Never yeah. met somebody with a superpower before. Yes, you have, I even sir. Him up more. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Yeah, you suck at it. Combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Oh, and a shitty one too. In her case, a step douche. <laughs> yeah, you suck. My mom died. We never got along. She was angry. Wait, Joyce died? Oh yeah, because I killed everyone in Arcadia Bay. God, <laughs> I'm a horrible person. I was stupid. We were. Why did he survive Arcadia Bay? Wait. <laughs> 
Or How come he got to survive, but Joyce thing it? That sucks. In water. And she was always starting shit. Guess that's oh, hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. Yeah. I just had no clue how to deal with her. So you went about it in the worst ways possible. I wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway. Yeah, when the fucking world ended. Good job. Can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh, shut up. <laughs> okay. Time out. <sighs> I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. Yikes. The heat is so cool. I love ghost sarca. Ooh, they have VHS tapes. <laughs> I am a child. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh. Maybe they were nerds together. Is that a new statue? That woman is amazing. You simp. <laughs> I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? It's nice. <laughs> Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not going to get in your space. They have their own past, too. That's why people come here from all over the country. For to their own away. Reasons. Very creative name. Not perfect, but it works. I like Karen. I still think it's really shitty that she like was abandoning him and didn't fully take responsibility for that, but I like her. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. Yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. Yeah. So... How did you end up here? This place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, Who's I Maggie? was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Your evil little brother. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Hey, brother to Superwolf. I like something's we up. need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? <laughs> Hola. 
Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Why is the audio leveling all off? She was like a normal level, but like he was super quiet for no reason. I like a vibe of this game. Even if it's has maybe my least favorite, I'm not sure. It certainly was before Finn showed up. Um but even if it's got a lot of flaws that I could pop off about, but I'm not going to right now. Uh I like it and I really like a vibe of this game. It has a very specific vibe that I like. You can dance, you can, can die, I died at the time of It was so perfect. Now, you'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bed room, though. I'm worried. I'm eat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. You absolute... Joanne Sim. It's so big and pretty and so quiet, except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious. If we're lucky. Yeah. yeah. You actually scared me for a second. The wolf brothers aren't afraid of any hunter. You must hike all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, you're totally gay. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. She is totally gay for Joanne. <laughs> like, definitely a thousand percent very gay. It also aligns with her whole reason she left being that she doesn't feel happy in her marriage thing. Just saying. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. Hi, Ben. It's the best spot. Let's sit down. Wholesome family bonding moment. Even though Karen abandoned them, she's trying. That's all got anyone can ask for. Wrong choice of words. They could have asked for a lot more. <laughs> But she's trying now, hey, that's what matters. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, but... It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like fairy road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert. Hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural born explorer. It's hard to believe you are actually out here with me. I was lucky so we could be. Just know I love both of you so much. I know you had it rough, 
lately. Said no but more counting dollars, you'll be, be counting stars. When you're settled. Yeah, we'll be counting stars. Uh, by the way, swing the vine, uh, swing my heart across the line, and my if you wanted to, signs. you could come with us. Shall find. Oh, I'm not that, that old, makes you young. That would be I'm cool. Couple, I, don't I think would the love world is to come cold. see you settled into a new home. Oh, that I feel You're something so wrong. Do but the right thing. And I have to be up front with both of you. What so happened right. in Haven Point? Is catching up on us. Huh? What? What do you mean? What? When we were in town, good, we yeah. saw some stories mm -hmm. in the papers. Good, lie. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shh. And they'll find us. Well, shit. That's not good. Well. Fuck. Figures. Yikes. This can last forever. <sighs> So, this is it? See you then. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July. But this is better. Oh, I love those things. What are they? What? What? What did he? What did? What did she? What is happening? What is he holding? What did she make? Whoa! Awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky. Or it goes one of those floaty lantern things. Got to throw into the air. Hell yeah. I wonder if I'm gonna get copyrighted for this one. It's pretty. As much as I hate him, I do kind of want to talk to David more just on the off chance that we can learn kind of about what happened to Max and Chloe after the first game. Um, or something that could be cool, but, you know. Are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. Why can't everybody leave us alone? Well, you guys have committed a lot of illegal shit around. Even if all of it is like understandable given the circumstances, still. 
How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe a uh, five or six hours drive. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Uh, what? Uh, That's I don't like that. Mom. Yeah, it is don't bullshit. Give up. Don't. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. But like self-preservation. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing. Oh, I hate God. Oh, that's so sad. Looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. But like sad. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. God. You have to find some sort of balance. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And... I'm sorry, you had to make hard decisions God. to stay safe, but sometimes you just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right. Yeah, let's go say bye to go the people. One last checkup on the truck before you hit it. Okay. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Um, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Okay, I guess we're talking to David again. We just got a lot of money? Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. Don't break my heart, Sean Diaz. It took me some time, but... I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. Gay. Okay. <laughs> Please don't give up on your freedom, okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach it once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love. Sean. Uh, pain. Finn's letter still here. Oh no, he packed it. That's adorable and gay and sad. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to the awful Confederate flag man. Okay. Okay. Dude. Don't forget about David. Sean. Hey. God. Parents said you wanted to see me. Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. God, I hate him so fucking much. <laughs> oh, I hate that man so much. What's this? <laughs> they look cool. 
I wonder which one is his daughter. I would like to look at Polaroids. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Must be his wife. Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. No, not poor guy. I feel no sympathy for that man. I'm sorry. I just, I, I can't. Okay. You piss me off too much. How does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only gotta search between 140 and 160. This place has too many adults. But I'm gonna miss it. Nah, nothing there. That's all I'm saying, folks. But back to our caller. Mm, don't think so. Keep scanning. Another hit from the backwoods on dusty rocks. No. Nope. Okay. Definitely not. Uh, uh, 136. <laughs> Listening. We've got reports of a Oh, is this it? 10, 10 Wait. Is this it? Sam? Oh, shit. <sighs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. He's not a rebel. Wasn't he, like, literally, a, like, a security guard? Arthur said David could fix anything. Apparently not, huh? He hopes. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? Yep. Yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? <laughs> yep. Sure. sure. Think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Oh my god, shut up. You only get one chance here. Yeah, got it. I'm not trying to be a dick. You are. Go. Just Honest. You just you just you. are naturally an asshole. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. Don't mean to order you around. That happens die hard. Clearly. Oh, yes. I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while. I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane. It was a tornado. Uh, How are you just stupid? And her friend were among the only survivors. Friends. In large quotation marks. We lost everyone else. Jeez. Sorry. Thank you I for making me feel guilty for it. I hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild.
Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. Took me a while to... You're really lucky that Chloe still puts up with your shit. Knowledge. The past was the past. And move on. Like they did. God. Once I realized that, I reached out to them. Oh, and you we did, made huh? peace with each other. Mm. I stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. Stepdaughter by marriage. You guys remind me of them in a way. And I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you. Okay? You suck. Yeah. Of course. I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Shut up. Literally shut up. see yourself in ten years? You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up. Don't. And face the law. Absolutely go fuck not. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. Don't. You're too young to be dealing with oh my God, all this. Yes. Shut up, David. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. God, I hate him so much. Uh, oh. Oh, what? Uh, Hello? Sorry. I really have to take this. What is it? Hey, sweetie. What's up? Is that Chloe? Can we, can we, can we no eavesdrop? Told you New Yorkers were assholes. Yeah, I know. How about that other gallery she told me about? Cool. Fingers crossed then. Nah, your old man doesn't fear the heat. <laughs> Yeah, those solar panels are finally up and running. You'll see them next time you come by. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you drive down to Louisiana or Texas, that'd be cool. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Take care then. Wish Max luck for me, okay? Bye bye. Love ya. Use the word friends regarding them earlier boggled me. You know damn well they're not just friends, David. God, I hate him so much. It won't be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. Oh, wait, can we talk After to good guys? Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I came by to say adios. adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Yeah, everything's oh, fine. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. But the sooner we cross the border, the better. I don't want to bother no the old gays. No worries. I don't want to worry them. Oh shit. 
That's all we're gonna do until you make it. We will. They're like Thanks old you, gay uncles, and I and love them. You gave us a place to breathe. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? Right. We will oh, try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just I love I love good the, the, the grumpy old gays. I love them so Life much. Mexico. You better. Uh, we we're gonna make it work. Yep. Shit. Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. I love them. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. They're like old gay uncles, and I love them. They're like a, 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 a grumpy old gays, and I love them so much. Damn. Can't wrap my head around those two leaving. That's just unfair. <laughs> Daniel just got his mom back. It was always clear. It wasn't forever. Huh? Looks like we got everything. They have their own way to go. Time to hit the highway. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Well, with Finn, maybe you could maybe. be a grumpy old gay. Yeah. You'll be fine in Mexico. Hey. She's like talking to herself. You'll be fine in Mexico. Are you okay, Karen? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. I love her. She's great. That's cool. I think Dad was kind of bummed. I never got into cars. That's all right. You just have to find your own passion. I have had plenty. Just not engines and stuff. More like art. And, and sports. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah. He was yeah. not old-fashioned. He was perfectly fine when you told him you were gay. We didn't tell him you were gay and you're bi, but you get what I mean. He was perfectly fine when you told him you kissed Finn. You were just like... He was just like, oh, okay, it was unexpected, but go off, I guess. I need to find my own way. Whatever that was. Wish I had Yeah, saying he was old fashioned would have been a blatant lie. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. Exactly. No. Yeah. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. He loves you guys. Did you guys ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard. Okay. But he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming and dangerous. You don't know where it comes from. And it's dangerous. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. Are we gonna get an answer to how where the power came from, or is it gonna be like Max's, where we just never really know, and it kind of just happened? I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over. If we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He's not. I mean, he's like 10, but you, you know. He's a mature 10 year old. Too fast. You're gonna have to learn. He's gonna to need him. therapy when he's older. Go, even if that scares you sometimes. Yeah. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out. 
Like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. Please, please don't let the cops come looking for us out here. Let's say goodbye to Uncanny Valley Lady. Karen's girlfriend. You're totally a thing. Come on. First. What? I triggered the cutscene somehow. <laughs> hey. What's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So. What do you think? Looks yeah, very cool. I can totally tell what you do. Oh, good. That makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel you did inspire me. I love it! So, God. you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was the sweet. Your mother is my favorite person in the world, and we're very gay. Just thing. Just saying. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Wicked. Okay. One big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just yeah. please take care of yourself. And my special apprentice. No worries. We always do. I really wish her character design okay cre didn't creep me out so longer. much. If it's okay with her. Because you're um, like, kidding? she's so nice. I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. He hopefully won't. I don't like David. He annoys me. Makes me want to commit arson. <laughs> he makes me want to commit arson. Who's Chris? Oh, Chris left the letter. I love Chris, even if he's an annoying child. <laughs> Very gay. Oh, there's more. There's new, new ones. Okay, had to knock Joey out so I could sneak out of the hospital. He's a true ally. I can't ever get good enough. Um. Bumped into Finn on my way down the scaffolding. Oh god. Hurts, but I don't care. Uh, you had a giant meltdown in your car and it hurt my soul, but okay.
Oh, good gaze. Good gaze. Good gaze. Good gaze. Dollar from Fen feels good. Would love to hang out with him again someday. You're very gay, Sean. And it's adorable. What? Okay. We're going on a treasure hunt. Going on a treasure hunt. Sound like a future nightmares. God. B art do crimes. The phrase is be gay do crimes, and you know that, Sean. Oh, last night away. Huh. You're in love, you gay little man. <laughs> Karen won't have to share her space anymore. Okay. Maybe she'll feel kind of alone. Can I see Fen's letter again? Is it in here? They're so gay, and I love them. Wait, Brody left a letter? Oh! I'm glad I found this before I ended the game, god. Wholesome. Uh, oh, Cassie also left a letter. Damn, <laughs> I missed a lot. Maybe you earned it. I don't know how I feel about that letter from Cassie. I don't know. That gave me weird emotions. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna drop it. I don't know. <laughs> Very mixed feelings. Anyways, um, I guess we can just go to the car now. You know, actually continue the plot. That's a thing we should do. Daniel, do you copy? Time to wrap it up. Be right there. Always. Okay. So, did you get to say goodbye to Awake? Yep. Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? He we has no depth leave. perception. Quit putting him in a car. <laughs> Mom, I, I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It means so much to me that I got to see you. I know life has not been fair. But you're brave, strong. You're gonna make it to Mexico. I just watch out for your power, Daniel. And your big brother. Okay, Mom. 
Thank you. Wholesome. Well, Sean, this is it. What? 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 What is happening? Hug Karen, obviously. What? Thanks, Mom, for being here. Thanks for letting me, son. Let's hit the road. I guess everyone is giving him one last send-off. That's very big or sweet. Take care, boys. Stay safe. I wonder if I'm gonna get copyrighted for this music. Ogre very gay. Ogre real gay. Ogre very gay. <laughs> Bye everybody! Daniel, get in the car. Karen and Joanne are very gay, and you cannot, no matter how hard you try, you cannot convince me otherwise. I feel like we're about halfway through, so I am going to take a quick intermission, uh, and then we will continue. I am back, and I brought a ginger ale. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Continuing. I was able to stretch a bit, because my back was starting to hurt, but I feel a bit better now. And I think we're ready to continue. Yeah. I just had to... Take a little midstream walk around. So we only really have like half the episode left, huh? Roughly. Which means we really don't have that much of a good game left. We have like. Hey. What? I'm going to commit arson. I'll be back.
actually back now because apparently they had to wait until I was back in here to ask me to do things. I'm not salty. Anyways. <clears throat> Is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? I just got ginger ale everywhere. I, I don't care about that. So Is he okay? What's the problem? What? What are we gonna do on Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Forever. We can live like kings, dude. The dollar goes a long way there. We don't need much. Yeah, right. So who am I gonna play with? What do I do you for fun? Find a kid. Come on. You can make friends when you go back to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or He can't? He's been speaking at pretty Dude, well this whole game. I can't talk. I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. Okay, so that made him happier. Everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out too. Um Well that sounds okay. I guess. Wow. Daniel. I get scared too, you know. But we'll be we'll be fine. Okay. I trust. Will be fine isn't very reassuring, Sean. God. I'm very curious about how they're gonna wrap things up. Are they already there? This seems very dangerous. That seems like a terrible idea, but go off, I guess. I'm very curious about how they end up here if you don't go out on the, um, the heist. Because that was an option, right? To just not go on the heist. That looks so big. Yep. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. Oh god. It's a border, man. Is there a wall like this? Up north? Nah. Not really. So Yikes. Why did they build one here? 
<laughs> no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Yikes. That sucks. Oh no. Sean! What? Why would they arrest Mom? Why? So they didn't okay, give her shit. But she didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. They better. I'll teach them a This shit lasts until Puerto Lobos. Okay. Unless her car breaks down in the desert. Oh god. Okay, so, um... This is the opposite of Seattle. We're at the end of America. Do we have to run and find a place? Oh, wait. God! So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. What are Shang and Fen's ship name? I'm curious now. Typically, they do it with a last name, so would it be like... Machna Diaz or Diaz Namara. I don't know. Something like that. What is our ship name? Or is it based off her first name? So it would be like Shanigan. Dude, or it's hard. Pick a Sean. <laughs> Oh god. I can't. It's alright. Take your time. Stay focused. I'm with you, Daniel. Jesus Christ. Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. Well, you dig it, guys. Now you should you get crew before there's like 80 government officials fuck that shit up. on your tail. <laughs> yes! <sighs> you should probably get going. It's all thanks to you. It's gonna be alright. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. Wholesome. Nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Wholesome brothers. Oh, man. Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. It'll be so Whoa! Daniel. What? Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! What? Talk to me! What? What? Daniel! You should probably duck and cover too if there's clearly somebody shooting at you. Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, uh! Oh. Uh! Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! 
Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that on. What is happening? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Uh, no. So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! We're going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. Yes. That's fucking funny. Now, it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? No, it's not. Listen, it's a long story, but we really are trying to get out of here. You can fucking skateboard across the border ten miles away. So tell me the plan. You're not cops. You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them. And they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. Still bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. Oh, God. Yeah, don't move. What the fuck? Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Jesus! What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal, you know. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. God. Oh, how old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it. You're both coming with me to the station. What are you kidding? What? They're illegal. Fuck thing. What I say. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Take a breath. You okay now? Who is this guy? What? I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Oh, God. Well, this is not how I want things to go. <laughs> So it's July now. Fourth July. Don't. Don't. Says Bien. Si. Yo soy Diego. Mi, mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es. Um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Que no hacen daño a los niños. 
That's good at least. Bare minimum achieved, god. Lucas is trash. Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh. This place is fucking gross. Seriously. Why are you doing this? What's your problem? Doing what? You shot my ten-year-old brother! It was a mistake. Uh. It's the fall is what knocked him out. Oh, you don't have to talk to him, Dad. Yikes. Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí. No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad, queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. Pero, ¿por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente por las mismas razones que todos no pudimos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria en México la violencia tiene muchas formas no se puede vivir así cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por oh, un día nos fuimos si hubiésemos podido quedarnos nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo pero queremos darle una vida una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Child. <laughs> es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba a su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse, como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo, pero lo de México no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Um, I'm pessimistic. No sé, creo que soy un That's poco pesimista en el camino. No solo me encontré con gente amable. Me imagino. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh, shit. What? Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego, no, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay your welfare. You all want a free ride. That's literally that not true. Immigrants built this country. Where did the founding fathers come from, huh? No, 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 that was different. They made the laws. They wouldn't stay That's not different. And let this happen. We only want work and they might. And then peace. Yes. They were all immigrants. Uh, or a lot of them were at least. Children, the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. What facts? My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. 
What Whose fault is that, dumbass? Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. No. You want to slick like 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 animals. <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. Now you and your unborn parasite Yikes. have nothing in common with me and my family. What? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. You win. I would like to get out of here soon. Fuck you, you wetback. You and your what girlfriend. The fuck? Yo! Madison! Everybody calm down. Campbell, tell me we're out of here. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! No, you're not. You have the right to remain silent. So fucking use it, okay? <laughs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. And no more fighting down here. Or I'm gonna get me. Oh, God. Okay. Let's move it. God. Oh god, right. are we about to do an interrogation? Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. That's not very reassuring at all. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? This is an interrogation tactic that interrogators use. Uh, is to give him coffee or water or food to build up a sort of um, bond with the person and then they'll be more likely to spill whatever okay. information they want. Good. Be right back. Oh, great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope he's alright. course not. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? That's a good question, bud. Ironically, the first game also pretty much ended with the main character locked in a room. How am I I'll go under very different circumstances. Get myself out of this mess. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? I haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I'm hearing white lady yelling. So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? Don't think you will. At least not anytime soon. I was about to say, okay, we've been fine. Even if we didn't do the heist, but that's not true because they had to leave anyways. Thank you, sir. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. At least it'll keep me up. Let's look a weird zoom in. Jeez. 
That's quite a crime spree. It's something. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Which he didn't do. A motel room. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. He did not do and that. And its leader is found dead short after. Hmm. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her oh, way Oh yeah, now. her. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That is kind of true, actually. She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. She's a good person. It's not up to me, kid. Even Listen. if she left you. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. That's true. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. It is an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? Because he was scared. I panicked. Okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. Well, that's good, at least. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. Between we bars? Still get a life. What? Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? What do you want me to say? We're super villains. <laughs> we can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! What is that? What is Daniel doing? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. What did Daniel do? Oh. Hey, Daniel. You okay? How do you feel? I'm okay. Just a little headache. <laughs> you absolute you madman. Take care of the as well. Let's go. Daniel, you mad yeah. lad. Jesus Christ. Hey! hey. Mom, we gotta go. Get us out of here. It's good enough. Okay, hands oh, up. Shit. Oh, hands up. Shoot. Hands up. Whoa. Do not move. Wait, Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. Gotta crush them. We got to go. Okay, stop. I said. Oh, they're dangerous. Be careful. Shut up. Oh. There's probably a less violent option, but there's just no time. Should have known, right? Yeah. You saved our asses. Sean. It's a really concerning response to killing somebody. Hey, hey, step back. What did you do? You fucking nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, but be quick. Come on, Sean! We gotta go! 
Yeah, let's we go. We'd be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. Literally. Well, also, you wouldn't be in this situation if you didn't have his power. Take it out, Daniel. Time to go. Hot wire another car. Hurry, Sean! Drive! He has no depth of perception, you bad man. <laughs> Us. Not like his exact second. Not yet. They're not both teenagers, one of them is ten. That was a stupid decision. We still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. That's true. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. Oh, God. Remember how he was so into fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. That shot is almost exactly like one from the prequel and it caught me off guard. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. What they could have done instead of uh, breaking open a wall was they could have tried to um, float the car over it. Would have been more risky, but also would it have been? Sean, we can't let them get us. Seattle. This is depressing as hell. The date Dad was shot. I think about it every day. And I would give you anything to change what happened. But I can't. Max could have. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you were the one with the real sad. Power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter. In your life, like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Whatever happens, always remember 
that your dad don't want you. I promise you. God. Fuck. God, God, God. God. If they try to cross the border, they will die. Hi. I think their story ends right here. Boy, no. No. Daniel, come on. So we went all this way? All that shit for nothing? You told me we were going to Mexico. You said. We're done. The end. It's not. Who we are. God. It's my turn to take care of you, Sean. You're ten. You're right. You're ten years old. I promise. What? What? Daniel. What? Whoa. Stop. Whoa. Stop. Whoa. What? Shoot! Shoot! Whoa. Jesus Christ. Daniel, god damn it. No, no. Please no. Sean. <laughs> Why? Why? Fuck. <sighs> voice acting, god damn. Why is Daniel's voice actor better one than Sean's? It's a little kid, right? It's not an older lady. It might be an older lady. I actually have no idea. I might check that. I wonder what the other endings are. If I hadn't been encouraging of Daniel's uh, powers throughout the game, would that have happened? I don't know. Did Fen draw that? What the hell is that? Oh, is that Daniel? Okay, weird. Did Fen do that? God. 
good. Is that seriously the ending I get? That's... That sucks. <laughs> Plus, I actually- I, like, picked good- nice decisions for Sean, for the most part. Who is this? Like, whenever I had the option to make him nice, I make him nice. Oh wait, he survived? What? Oh, Gaga's not a good choice. That hair is a as a bad choice. Bud. Wait, is that Sean or is that Daniel? I wait, is that Daniel? It actually looks more like Daniel, but older. What? Oh yeah, cause Sean died, so it makes sense, but Daniel, that guy is a piss poor hair choice. Okay, yeah, it's Daniel. Look up. Really questionable choice of hairstyle. Oof. I hate that. What are the other endings? Also, where did he get this scar from? Oof, got eye patch. No, no, don't do that. Oof. Don't- oh, god, don't do that. No, hmm. Ho oh, ho Don't- God. Who's that? Are ghosts gang buddies? Or- Oh, those don't look like friends. God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. scar on his face. I'm curious now. Well, that's a depressing ending. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'm gonna see what the other endings are after this. I believe there's two other endings, right? God, I got the eight percent ending. That's hilarious. Oh, so if I had been a bit more strict about um, his powers and less nice to him, then things would have gone better. Hate that.
three percent than a Karen God. That was an option? Damn. Damn. That was a wild ending. Jesus. Fuck. We're gonna see Feng again. I I want to um. I'm gonna watch what the yogurt endings are after this because I I did hear that Feng is in one of them. But damn, dude. Oh, I hate that. God. Well, that was life is strange too, I guess. God damn, dude. Daniel needs better hair choices. Could he have been trying to imitate Chris? That's a god. Wild man. Well, farewell. Um, I'll see you around. Goodbye.